Tuesday, September 19th, 2023, Watkins Jail, Phoenix, Arizona. I think being in jail tends to numb the inmate senses. When I got to Pod 3C this afternoon, a handful of the men saw me through the window and took notice. But most of the guys looked like they were in a stupor, watching TV or laying in their bed. When I boomed out religious services, Church of Jesus Christ, religious services, more of them came out of their days and started heading to the program room where we hold class. There were 12 men in class today, Ambrosio, Raphael, Jesus, Enosh, Victor, Sergio, John, Colin, Ben, John, Joshua, and Mark. We introduced ourselves as sons of God, saying secret prayer, and had the invocation. Last week Enosh asked me for a Book of Mormon. I told him to put in a tank order, a request to Chaplain Herrera, and she would get it to him. Today when I asked if anyone wanted to discuss anything that they had read this week, Enosh raised his hand. Enosh had a new Book of Mormon and gave a summary of 1st Nephi chapter 1 through 1st Nephi chapter 18. Enosh said that he loved reading the Book of Mormon. He also said he was like Laman because he had rebelled against his own family and hurt them. I love hearing and discussing what the men have read in the scriptures. After class, Joshua said he was leaving tomorrow. I asked where he would be going. I didn't know if he was being transferred to prison or being released. He said he was getting out and he wanted to know where my church was so he could go there. I told him to go to the internet and type in the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints and he could find an address. He asked me to write down the name of the church on a piece of paper, which I did. Joshua was very nervous. He was anxious for his freedom and being with his family, hopefully. But at the same time, he doesn't want to fall back into drugs and alcohol or being a jerk to his loved ones. We'll see how it goes.